Hey, hey, what's going on, YouTube? How y'all doing? I know I'm back with another video, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the last one, man. I'm just trying something a little different, you feel me? If you guys have any questions, let me know. How about you comment down below or hit me on my socials. I do have Instagram. You can ask me any personal questions or, you know, I kind of want to do a q and A. I've been thinking about doing that. Because a lot of people, they don't know my sense of humor. I'm a very funny person. Psych! <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm also very goofy whatever you want to call it. Hit me on my socials. My Instagram is the same as my YouTube, Arlen Ka. I'm going to put it out right there. In this video, I'm doing a comb over that my client came in with a lot of hair. I have to do a YouTube tutorial just for y'all. So let me know what you guys think at the end of the video, man. Peace out. Love y'all. Hey, what y'all still doing here? Don't you got a video to watch? Man, I know y'all love me, man. I love y'all too. Hey, peace and love, baby. What's going on, YouTube? What's poppin'? How y'all doing? I know y'all miss my voice, huh? I was just trying out that AI thing, you know, from the last video. Just, you know, just try it out. See what y'all thought. You know, I might do it here and there, you know, um, but yeah, so we're doing like a, like a comb over on this uh, gentleman right here. He came in with his hair looking wild. I was like, man, you know what? I have to do a haircut, uh, tutorial on him. So we're doing that. So as you can see, I'm using a one and a half guard. I'm just taking off the bulk just so I can see the area when I'm cutting and everything. So we're using a one and a half, uh, wall guard with my you know, magic clips. If you guys are looking for those magic clips, I'll have them uh, tagged in the video below. So uh, one and a half, I'm kind of flicking out right here because I don't want to really want to make a hard line. So we're just flicking out and everything. So uh, you guys don't have to use a one and a half guard uh, to take down the bulk. I use a one and a half because I can easily take it down with a clipper over comb. Um, that's just my preference. If you guys don't feel comfortable doing it that low, you can do it too. Um, I don't recommend going higher than three because me it's just i don't really cut like that but you know if you guys if you guys want to then that's on you guys you know so one and a half just make sure that you you know take the bulk down so just so you can see your area you know um you don't want to come in with the liners and just do it like that i mean you can but to me i just want i like to have like a clean area when i'm cutting you know, be able to see what i'm doing set the guidelines the way i want to set them so, but that's just me, you guys. So we have our clipper over comb technique that I like to do. It's a, it kills so much time when you're cutting hair. Um, it's probably one of the best things I've figured out as a barber is to learn how to clipper over comb. So I have my clipper comb. Um, it's a carbon fiber clipper comb. I'm not too sure what it's called. If I find it, I will put it in the video, the uh, little detail store on the bottom left, I think. <laughs> so what I like to do is I like to get underneath the hair and kind of create like a, um, an angle, like a 45 degree angle. I'm not too you know sure on the angles there, but I don't want to go straight up because I feel like the shape wouldn't be there and I also don't want to patch them so you kind of use it like you're using a guard another set of guards so just make sure you see the hair that you want to cut and just take it out and then when you're done once you take out that hair you comb the hair down and see how it lays on the hair and if you don't it doesn't lay the way you want to then just keep taking the hair down down and down but this right here it creates a shape that that you know that like no other this is how you create a shape on any type of hair. You know, if you want to do like a, a, you know, flat top, blowout taper, all that, this is what I use to, you know, set in that, that nice shape. Also kind of clip the hair right there so that the bangs are in the way um, of the cut. So yeah. So now we're going to be using our liners to create a bald line. And uh, I'm using the babyless liners. I'm, Mother ones die, but I, I like using these ones as well. So just make sure you make the first 
all lined straight. We're doing the mid fade, so without the hooks. So just make sure that the ball line is straight. Now we have our wall magic clips the goat edition you know we got to keep a goat up in this thing you feel me <laughs> i'm sorry that was cringe uh, take that back i'm sorry <laughs> we're using our wall magic clips to make a first guy line all the way open lever lever all the way open guys lever all the way open we're making the guy line about like an inch to about like a third a third of an inch about a third of an inch or maybe that's an inch i'm i'm not too sure but it just depends on how how big you want to make your guideline just how you know how you want your blend to be so um make sure when you get to the top you flick out don't make a hard line because my method is hard line hard take out so you just want to flick out when you get to the top so now we're going to close it up take out the bottom line make sure you use the corners right here i always use the corners of my clipper because you have more you have more of a um what's the word uh it's more precise of what you're cutting because you're not because when you're using just one set of the blade you have more control of your clipper you know you want to be in control of your clipper not the you know the clipper can in control of you um, i'm sorry i stuttered right there i'm, I'm nervous I'm sorry <laughs> but yeah make sure you use your uh your levers halfway open you just want to play around with it any dark spots you see you want to just kind of use the the tip of your uh, or the corner of your your clipper just to kind of you know flick it out so make sure you always flick out too. Don't make any hard lines by just eh, digging up in there. Just flick out. Use corner of the corner of the blade. Um, what my old instructor used to say was, uh, "We got to eat." So edge, angle, and touch. It's an acronym. So basically, what that means is, you know, you got to have touch when you're cutting hair. You got to know your clipper. You feel me? Know the clipper. But we're also coming in right here with the number one guard. Uh, we're gonna make the guideline about see i don't i'm not really setting a hard guideline right here as you can see it's not really that hard so because what i'm doing when i get to the spot where i want to stop at i'm flicking out and i'm blending into that one and a half guard that i used um previous to you know taking down the hair when it was bulky so we're just getting to the top and we're flicking out we're flicking we're basically blending that one into that one and a half so we're just flicking out guys just flick out that's my my main you know my main suggestion is flick out you don't want to make no hard lines just flick out so as for this part right here we are going to be using our zero guard i'm going to put it like halfway just so i can see how the guard is going to react to the hair and it is taking it out um not fully but it's lightening it up and um, so then I open it and close it. Just play with the lever just to make sure that you want to take out any dark spots that is necessary. And um, his hair kind of grows at an angle. As you see, I'm using my clipper and I'm cutting against the grain that way. So if a, if a certain hair grows in the direction, you always want to do it the against the direction that it's going. So that's why I'm kind of using at an angle to cut that hair. Um, so yeah, we're just playing with that lever. Um, as you can see, the you know the blend kind of graduated kind of quickly you know you see it, it came together and um so right now we're just cleaning it up basically right now his, his hair t his uh the way his hair laid down was pretty good but i also washed his hair before cutting this because when you have a, a clean <laughs> a clean kind <client>, uh <laughs> um clean hair when you're when you're cutting your client it just makes it so much easier to cut you know it it just makes it so much easier so i don't know if you guys have access to a, a shampoo bowl or you know anything but make sure you do wash your client's hair before cutting in but it's not your job you know it's it's really not your job to do it it's the client's job to basically come in with clean hair but if they don't because not every client does that so if you do have access to a shampoo bowl i recommend you do that so right here, I'm just using my shears and I'm just taking down the hair and just cutting it about like maybe a quarter of an inch. 
just gonna do that all around um i'm not the best at sheer work i tried to be you know the best i can be um sheer work it, it, i mean it is kind of hard to do but you just gotta whatever hair you just gotta follow a guide just follow a guide the entire time So we're gonna be putting pomade in my client's hair. Um, typically, any pomade works. Um, I'm not too sure on you know certain pomades. You know, um, I did have one that did work. It was called like Red One. Um, I haven't used it in a while because I didn't have access to it. So I think right now I'm just using Johnny B. You know, gel just to you know slick his hair back, just so it can all hold together. Um, but I'm, I really, like I said, I don't really, you know, recommend any type of pomade. Just, you know, anything that works, works. You feel me? So the cut is now finished. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like I said, I'm gonna be posting all the time until I get 100K. That's the goal, 100K by the end of the year. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And also I love y'all, man. Peace out, man. Hope y'all have a blessed one.